In today's video, we're gonna talk about a time-saving add-on for Blender that you may have heard of. It is called Rentals. It is an all-in-one add-on that contains several tools for different needs, whether it is for hard surface modeling, lighting, texturing, or rendering. It recently got its biggest update, bringing with it many features and tools that we're gonna talk about today. The amount of features this bundle includes for what it costs is just great. Rentals was designed to follow you in every step of your project pipeline for creating your project folder all the way to rendering the final result. For example, by setting your default project directory in the add-ons preferences, you will be able to create and set up your project folders manually. When you start a new project, with one click it will generate folders for textures, renders and blender files. And this is where it will be saving everything in a specific directory later on. It also comes with a backup manager that helps you quickly save and stack backups of your object and switch between them easily, which includes at the same time a great way to fix normals after applying booleans, which is automatically applying the data transfer modifier to transfer normals from the previous backup to your current object. Also, you can quickly set up your scene by choosing from 6 backdrop presets and 7 lighting setups available and easily customizable either making them aligned to the camera or the objects you are working on. In the Camera Tools panel, you can use the interactive camera adjustment feature to quickly adjust your camera settings using intuitive shortcuts. You can also have quick access to all the main settings for rendering such as resolution, shutter speed or even setting up denoiser. Most importantly, you can do batch rendering by stacking a list of render presets that you want to make and hitting the Render All button. All the renders will be automatically saved in their specific folders. Also, what I like about Curve Tools is having the ability to achieve so much with just few clicks. With these tools, you can easily create or draw cables, edit them, simulate them, add caps to their anchor points and more. The amount of time you can save is just ridiculous. You can simply click on the object surface where you want the cables to start and end and simulate the physics with one button. And you can do this without worrying about collisions and the boring parts of setting up the physics properties for each object manually. Additionally, there is P-Cutter, which is one of the most important parts of this add-on. It is a very powerful tool for hard surface modeling and non-destructive modeling in general. It has a smooth learning curve and when you get used to its controls, you will see a drastic increase in your productivity. As P-Cutter allows you to do boolean operations on your objects by drawing shapes with full control over their placement in addition to how they look using alignment tools or snapping to grid, which is a grid that you can customize, rotate, align to edge and more. The boolean objects are also quickly customizable using shortcuts for adding bevels, linear and radial arrays or even recall the last cutter by pressing Alt plus V. It also includes some useful cleanup tools for fixing topology after applying cuts and boolean operations to your object. Run Tools also brings with it tools for texture baking. You can bake any texture map and automatically create materials with the baking results. You can also bake custom bevels very easily using the bevel width input. There are a lot of things actually we can cover in a single video, but I'm trying to preview and highlight the most important features. Now we're gonna jump to another important feature, which is gonna be the modifier presets and the ability to add synced modifiers for multiple objects at the same time and be able to edit them all together. And this is a very convenient way to work with modifiers when we actually stop and think about it. That way, for example, you can quickly snap decals to your object by applying a shrink wrap modifier preset to all the decals by selecting everything including the target object. There are also these sets of tools that game the add-on its actual name, which we call random tools. They are a set of random tools to put together to meet any of your needs. For example, you can set your ground objects, snap other objects to the ground, slice objects from view, create tubes, manage collection groups, make circular arrays, add lattices, remesh object parts for adding cloth panels, and so much more. With the new version of the add-on, we have now some very interesting features including an HDRI library from Polyheaven accessible by pressing Alt plus N and it contains a large number of high dynamic range images with all resolutions and organized into 12 categories such as indoor, night, nature, skies, etc. The library comes with an advanced node for adjusting the world environment texture called RT underscore world. By adjusting, I mean the ability to tweak the strength, brightness, contrast, blur, rotation, offset and so on. And you can do this very quickly. For P cutter, we have now a fast cutter mode where you can quickly add cuts to your object from your viewport facing angle by simply drawing the shapes you want to cut out. 
Now we can also do ID map baking in the baking tools and with it you can generate random colors automatically along with the ability to do multiple objects baking into one single texture. Additionally, in the new update, the process of adding cloth panels non-destructively is now divided into two steps. You need first to rematch your faces you want to turn into cloth and then hit the create cloth button. This in addition to several other stuff that the update brought with it, such as the new master pie menu, complete translation for Japanese artists, shortcut keys, under the brand tools preferences, and more. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.